Bottling is the act of throwing bottles at a band on stage to express your displeasure in who the band is or the style of music the band plays. In the past, these bottles were more likely to be filled with a certain warm yellow liquid, but thankfully that act has rather died off now. Personally, I don't agree with bottling. I think it's immature, it's dangerous, and it sparks mob mentality. If you don't like the band playing on stage, don't go see the band playing on stage. And the likelihood is, if you're in a crowd of people, some of them there will like the band on stage. So you throwing bottles at them just makes you look like a dick. That being said, sometimes a band being bottled, I can understand it, or I can at least appreciate why it's happening. For example, if a band is playing a festival and the style the band plays doesn't fit in with the genre of the festival itself, I can understand the audience being annoyed about it and wanting to express their displeasure. So, in this list we are discussing the five best bottling incidents ever. Obviously this is entirely subjective, it's just any time that I thought it was justified in the bottling or I thought it was really funny. That's pretty much it. Because let's be honest, a bottling can happen to anybody at any time for any reason. Why did I write this joke? Um, yes, so how's about we just get on with it, shall we? This is the five best bottling incidents of all time. Number five, Led Zeppelin. Just to prove that any band can get bottled no matter how big or well respected they are, Led Zeppelin were once bottled in 1977 after they cut short an outdoors gig due to a thunderstorm. Now I can totally understand the band wanting to cut that set short because of a thunderstorm, and I can understand the audience's frustration at Led Zeppelin having a short set. However, I am on the side of the audience here because on the ticket it said come rain or shine. So yeah, don't lie to your fans on your tickets, that's what you're gonna get. Number four, the Sex Pistols. This one fits neatly into the ironic category. The Sex Pistols, the anarchic punk band, were once bottled off stage of the Danish Roskilde Festival in 1996. Do you want us to play or go away? Bye bye. The band stormed off stage but returned a few minutes later to finish the set. Now, the audience clearly realised that bottling had an effect, so it carried on meaning that the Sex Pistols stormed off stage the second time and did not come back. The lead singer, Johnny Rotten, remember of the Sex Pistols, said that they didn't come back on stage because of the audience's failure to police themselves. If you're not going to police yourself, f*** off. Number three, Daphne and Celeste. Ah, oh, the 90s, when a one-hit wonder pop band could play at a festival. For the uninitiated, Daphne and Celeste are a one-hit wonder band for their song Ooh Stick You in 1999. They followed up in 2000 with the equally one-hit wonder song UGLY. Riding that two-song ticket to stardom, Daphne and Celeste played Reading Festival in 2000. Now, nowadays I could understand that. Reading Festival has become more of a pop-focused band. However, back in 2000, Reading Festival was far more rock and metal orientated. Just so you know, other bands playing Reading Festival that day included Placebo, Blink-182, Rage Against the Machine, and Slipknot. So I think you can understand why the audience wasn't too interested in the Gangnam Style song of the day, and Daphne and Celeste got bottled throughout their entire set before deciding to give up a little bit early and just go off stage. Number two, bad news. Bad News were a spoof metal band created for the TV show The Comic Strip Presents. Now, why am I talking about a fake band in a TV show? Because despite being a fake band, Bad News played a real gig when they played Monsters of Rock Festival in 1986. The band were heavily bottled, but it was all part of the joke that Bad News were actually a terrible band. It's absolutely fun to watch. It is insane to see what festivals were like 30 years ago. And the number one best bottling incident of all time is... Marilyn Manson. Now I put this one in the number one spot because it's just so different from the rest of them. I've not put it on the list because I support what happened or I thought it was justified, but just because it made me laugh. Marilyn Manson was playing Ozfest back in 2001 and he got bottled. It wasn't by a lot of people, but Marilyn Manson actually spotted one of the people doing it. So he invited him up on stage for a bottle off, which sounds weird. The bottling guy threw his bottle wildly up in the air, nowhere near Manson, I think because he didn't actually want to hit Marilyn Manson in the face, because he would have got beaten up as soon as he got back in the crowd. 
Manson, however, did throw his at the guy's face and then said, Get the f off my stage, you It's an amazing scene to watch because butlers don't often get reprimanded for what they're doing. So for Manson to actually see who this guy was, get him up on stage, and then throw a bottle at him, it's great to see that he gets his comeuppance. And that is my list. Thank you so much for watching. Just to clarify, again, I do not condone bottling. Just, just don't do it. Do you know of any other bottling incidents that I missed? Let me know them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, could you click like and subscribe so that you can get more festival content as soon as I upload it. It's going to be great. You're going to love it. My name is Rob, and I will see you in another video very soon.